Oké, okay. so according to Bhagavad Gita, a tiagi is someone who takes the opportunity but rejects, does not utilize the reward. The sannyasi rejects the opportunity and the reward for it. Well, obviously, if you reject the opportunity, you will not get the reward. That's obvious. But the sannyasi is deliberately doing that with full knowledge. A lot of people will reject an opportunity and want the reward. These are stupid people. The sannyasi is not stupid. He knows very well that if he works here and do this particular activity, he will get this big reward. So he decides with that knowledge not to work because he doesn't want to deal with handling this. The Tiagi, though, is a good guy. He takes the opportunity, but he does not want a reward. He gives the reward away. Like, let's say, he gets a million dollars for doing this thing, but then he gives it to charity. The Sannyasi now, he knows, if I get this million dollars, I give this to charity, I'll be known as a good guy, I will get a good result. <clears throat> but still he decides, no, I don't want to be involved in this at all. I will leave this alone, I will not do it. So those are the two things. So anytime somebody goes to do some work or some activity, they have to be given this. If we don't calculate this, we're going to misunderstand the whole Bhagavad Gita. You have to be given an opportunity. But well, why are you given the opportunity? Because of what you did in the past. The minute you say, oh, it doesn't matter what I did in the past. It does matter because you would have never gotten that opportunity if you had not done that activity in the past. So it's very important for a yogi to understand the road on which he came in on to get this work. That it's not the work that causes you to get something. It's the opportunity which is based on your past life. Hmm. So that is it. <clears throat> so those are the differences I explained. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna told Arjuna to be a Tiagi. But we see in the Uddhava Gita, when Uddhava wanted to be a Tiagi, Krishna said, no, you should be a Sannyasi. Reject the opportunity for social life and reject the, re the reward also. So this is the path Arjuna was told to take. And this is the path Udo was told to take. It's a totally separate path. This path, for you to do this properly, you have to master karma yoga. This path here is the path of karma yoga. This is the path of Gyan Yoga. This Gyan Yoga is based on Samkhya, as Krishna explained it to Uddhava. It's not, there's several Samkhyas in India, there's like three of them. This is the one Krishna explains to Uddhava what it is clearly, so there's no confusion. Let's go back over this. Why is this karma and yoga? Because karma alone, when done, produces this. You get the opportunity based on your past life, you take it. You get the money, you take it, you use it for your family. This is karma yoga. This is what Arjuna was doing. They fought the battle, they won and they ruled. They enjoyed the reward. <clears throat> Gyan Yoga now is different. Because of having this knowledge of, of Gyan, one sees through this whole nonsense and realizes this whole thing is a waste of time. In addition to being a waste of time, you become more involved. The better you can act in here as a person who works and gets a reward, the more tied up you become. 
Because this person sees the study in Gyan and Samkhya, he uses yoga to avoid the whole thing. In Arjuna's case, he used yoga as taught by Krishna in the form of karma yoga to master when, it, when they were finished the battle, they had to go and listen to Bhishma to find out how to rule in a way that would not bring them bad reactions. But all of this here goes back to this opportunity. And you can't get that if it wasn't in your past life. It's not possible. Anybody has a good feeling to another person, the Tibetans have introduced, introduced some other concepts which are very important for us. It's called a predisposition. Predisposition. What is a predisposition? Well, the word pre means before. Obviously, the Tibetans have come up with this shit. The word pre means before. Disposition means something that I have right now. My attitude right now. Pre means in the past life. I've come with a, a certain posture based on my past life. I meet this person for the first time, and I don't like him for no reason at all. I don't know his history, I don't know nothing about him. I just don't like him, I, I just get a funny feeling. That is called a predisposition, it comes from the past life. It's not based on just what's happening. The Hindus now, instead of saying predisposition, they use the word samskar, S-A-M-S-K-A-R-A. It's different to this word, which is samsar. Samskar and samsar is different. This is not the word. Let's take it out. Samskar is the Hindu word. It means I'm carrying certain instincts and subtle attitudes in my psyche already. I'm loaded with those things. As soon as I come out in a body, I'm going to have a certain attitude, a certain type of prejudice, for no reason at all. This is because I've carried over my past life. It's in what the uh, modern uh, psychologists, psychiatrists call um, the subconscious and the unconscious. They say those two things are operating at all times. So that's it. Okay. <clears> Thank <throat>